name is Peston. I live in Cape Town. And also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Race number five on the program, the start of Jackpot 2 and uh, probably one of the better races on the card. And we do have a rerun for you of a party time when finishing third. Interviews with Craig Goody, Garth Puller and Michael Roberts. Then tread swiftly, Aquabold, behind that one, Winter Flight. It's party time, pray for rains, fighting back, tread swiftly on the inside. Outside is Putin's Promise, Aquabold's also getting into the race. Party time and tread swiftly, Winter Flight's also taking late. Tread swiftly and on the outside, party time and Winter Flight's coming and got up. Winter Flight, the last jump from tread swiftly and party time. Party time, yeah, he's a soldier, he, he, you know, he loves Scottsville. Um, He's won uh, over 12 there, and I don't think it'll worry him too much, the 1100. Uh, he's drawn down the inside, and uh, he's showing good work at home, so expecting a big run from him there. I think you missed out. He gets two and a half kgs off his back. Um, the jockey rode his 20th winner yesterday, um, but he's yeah he enjoys Scottsville, and, he, and he's, a, he's an old-timer, but he always puts his best foot forward. He'll run a nice race. Yes, uh, look, yeah, so, a solid gold, I must be honest with you. Uh, you, know, he's, you know, he's come back you know, from uh, from the break. Uh, I'm not expecting anything this run yet. He probably still, he'll still need it. It's a bit on the sharp side. Uh, and we'll see how he goes, you know. Uh, you know, I think he's ready for retirement. Yeah, he's, uh, his horse is unlucky to be, actually be beaten in Natal. He was unlucky in his last two starts. Uh, came from way back. He um, This might be a bit on the sharp side for him, but he had a pulled groin muscle. Um, so he's coming back from a bit of a rest or a bit of a recovery, should I say. But he's doing well and um, he, he's a horse with a lot of quality. Yeah, Captain Fontaine, certainly a horse with uh, lots of quality. He's got the ability and uh, he'll be the top choice for Mia despite uh, him returning off a sort of a recovery, as you heard from Garth Puller there. And he also mentioned unlucky to uh, get beaten in his last two starts, possibly uh, just a bit too far back. Last time out, um, jumped as the favourite when beaten behind Tempting Fate and he got going very late on in the day over 1200 meters and uh, just ran out of runway on that occasion. He does have a good first up record, five runs for two wins, a second and a third. And at Hollywood West Scottsville, three runs for two wins and one second. So he's um, got a good uh, strike rate here at the course and he's got a brilliant strike rate when Ashton Aries rides, two rides for two wins. So Ashton gets the tune out of Captain Fontaine and he'll certainly be hoping that he can make it three from three on Sunday at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. Now, he'll be the top choice for me, followed by horses five Aqua Bolt, seven Gallic Chief, and number one Party Time. And I'll start with the uh, Aqua Bolt and Party Time. They both come from the same formula and last time out behind Winter Flight. Winter Flight was taken up to uh, the High Felt to uh, run in the Merchants, as was the horse that ran second behind Winter Flight, Tread Swiftly. And Tread Swiftly ran an absolute cracker in the Merchants. He ran second behind Vaz Vicky. I thought he ran his socks off in that lineup, despite being the biggest outsider in the field. And uh, that form line has worked out, given that Tread Swiftly has run second in a, in a graded race. So uh, these horses, Party Time, Aquabolt, they must have big chances in this lineup. And both horses are capable on the day. They both have won at the course. Aqua Bolt, he'll enjoy a decent pace on in the race. And I think he could just get that. There are quite a few Horses that uh, go up handy, party time, the likes of them, Pray for Rain, Gallic Chief, another horse, even the uh, likes of this filly, Nara. She's a horse that shows quite a bit of speed. So I think the pace is going to be on and it's going to play into the hands of Captain Fontaine firstly and number five, Aqua Bolt, who's a horse that will be doing his best work late on in the day. Party time is an absolute soldier for the yard. He'll be right there. And then number seven, Gallic Chief, one and a half cages off the back, courtesy of Rachel Vinica. Win over the distance, one from one over the course and distance. Yet to miss out on the top three from his three attempts at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. So, Gally Chief from the inform, Paul Matchett Yard. Rachel, whenever she teams up with Paul Matchett, she's uh, got a good strike rate. 14 rides for six wins, two seconds and one third. So, uh, they teaming up for a fair bit of success of late and uh, certainly a horse to keep a very close eye on. So, 10, 5, 7 and 1. Those are going to be the top four selections for me. In terms of the pick six jackpots, I think those four numbers should be good enough to see you through. No doubt the value in the race 
is number five, Aqua Bolt, at around 15 to 2, 8 to 1. And I'm hoping that uh, he can come through with a late run and hopefully nab all of the, all of the runners in this lineup here. But uh, we're all hoping to see the best from Captain Fontaine and hopefully he can bounce back to some of his better form and uh, get uh, back in the winner's enclosure and notch up career win number five from 11 starts. Good fun days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together, um, and to have, you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into into making a day like this possible is uh, it's it's fantastic for everyone.